yeah it's definitely time for my feet to get wet but the best thing about this is I can now see Col Colca Mountain over there and we're just coming up to the trig point on Belmore Mountain now which is over there and you'll start to see that coming to view in a short while somewhere I'll sit now oh. so as I go already the uh, this afternoon I've seen in newts surfacing uh, the odd pond skater and if you're really lucky at certain times of the day you can see deer grazing around here and we've got stratus clouds up in the sky beautiful spring day Down there is towards Bell Coo. And over there somewhere, Bow and Derragonley. And also the, we can't see it here, it's below the horizon. But the lower Loch Ern, and that's down towards Donegal and Sligo. And Bundoran area with some beautiful surfing. World class. Ireland really is a fascinating place and one of the blessings of the travels was that on the oh are you right Bobby one of the blessings of the travels was due to the geographical location and the lack of the tourism that it's been left in such a pristine or left to be such a pristine place of course now all that's moved on and now we're open to tourism and it's a lovely place to come on holiday all these wonderful sights to see This really is a wild, this really is a wild trip and one of the wild sides of Fermanagh which not a lot of people get to see unfortunately and uh, well hopefully this will bring more attention to the wonderful wildlife and wonderful place that we have to visit. Obviously if there were any sheep about, I'd have all here on his lead. Out of respect to farmers and the sheep, and especially in lambing season, it's very important. And around cows as well. Not only am I enjoying nature, but it's all part and parcel of protecting it so that it can be enjoyed for generations to come. Getting, of course, to have the odd pause, enjoy the sights. It's a great way to keep fit, this as well. So many health problems around here. I wish there was a kind of smell of vision on this because. The air is so fresh up here. You can see the odd occasional bee dancing in and out of the heather. Another spring flowers which are just emerging now this time of year. Colca Mountain again. And off in the distance I can see the windmills. 
very fortunate in fracking was going to when I first moved here a few years back fracking was threatening us and uh, with demonstrations I managed to chase it off the company Tamboran and uh, now we have a lot of wind power in the local area so very ecologically friendly very green And I've never known such a bunch of friendly people in all my life. They make you feel warm and welcome. I live in a small village called Derry Gonley, which is not far from here. And then we've got the bow area with lots of very interesting historical monuments such as the Haganaglak Neolithic dual court chamber grave. So if there's a stone you get a lot of those in the local area during the ice age when the water or when the ice melted away it left stones lying all over the area called glacial erratics one of the features that you see often around here. Now over at Quilka there we have the Marble Arch Caves somewhere amongst that lot and that's all in Florence Court and there's the large manor or house there uh, which can be visited, it belongs to the National Trust and then of course somewhere in that direction in Iskillin Somebody once described it to me as a Venice on a budget because it's on an island surrounded by water. <laughs> oh now we've got this magnificent view just coming into sight. The ground's starting to dry out a little bit as it gets higher. And in a moment we're gonna see where it all drops off. Down towards the village of well, the village of the area of Letterbreen. Hopefully we'll get a glimpse of any skill if we're lucky. <laughs> 